Hey everyone, it's Galen Brian here with another JavaFX application desktop program button window tutorial. I don't know I'm going to name this series yet. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and run our program and see where you left off. We have our title up here. We can move it around. It's a window. Resize it. And we have a cool button. It says Brian. I don't know if yours says Brian. Uh, it would be pretty sweet if it did. But we have a button in the center if you add it to the center with layout.setCenter button. And uh, yeah. Uh, what we're going to do this time is actually make our button do something, because it does nothing right now. It's the world's laziest button. The way we do that is with something called Lambda expressions. Okay. Now, these exist in all kinds of programming languages, but in Java, it's a very specific uh, notation or syntax to make it that you haven't seen anywhere else in Java, probably. Uh, there are other ways to handle event, other ways to handle events with event handlers. Um, but this is the fastest, quickest, probably most efficient way to kind of get in the action and make our button do something. In a later episode, I will go over other ways to handle events, but this one is one we could really see the results of in like a minute or two, okay? So we named our button, button, and we initialized it with the text Brian or whatever you have. Below that, we're gonna call a method of button by calling button dot set on action. And you'll see it takes an event handler as an argument. But by using a lambda expression, we can kind of make the entire the entire code to be executed right within this argument when we're setting the on action. So otherwise, we'd pass an event handler, and then somewhere else in our program, maybe down lower in this class, we would have another method that says what to do when that event handler is called. Okay? Instead, we're going to say e and then dash greater than open bracket. And then I can just return for the close bracket here. So what this means is E is a variable for our event handler. The Lambda expression is what you're seeing right here. Now I said dash and then greater than, but as you can see, it really looks like an arrow pointing to the right. Basically what we're saying is E or the event should do this. It's pointing to what it should do when the event happens. Okay. Now for our button, the event, is being clicked. So for starters, we'll just go ahead and call something. We'll say system.out.println I was clicked. Okay. Now we're going to run that. And when we click the button, pay attention to the console down here, we should see I was clicked. Okay. Super simple, huh? Uh, so in just a couple lines, we can create entire actions for our button. Uh, of course, you don't necessarily need the brackets if you want to make it super simple. We could just do E and then the arrow to system to out to print line like that. Uh, if it's just a one line statement, if we run this, it'll say, hey, uh, kind of similar to how for loops and if statements work in Java, where if it's just one line, uh, there's no need for brackets. Okay. But for all the advanced functions, you're going to want brackets here. And now make sure you have this correct too, because that's easy to mess up and get an error in your program. It should be close bracket, close parenthesis, and then semicolon. Now this allows us to do multiple things. So we could say, uh, hi, my name is, and put a space there. And because we're in brackets, we could do multiple lines. So we'll also print out after that, um, button dot get text. Okay, uh, maybe instead of print line, we'll just say print here. That way it's in the same line as the name. So we're gonna run that, click our button. Hi, my name is Brian, or whatever your button text is there. So that just shows you that not only can we call inbuilt Java functions like system.out.println, we can also use it to access variables in our, in our class here. So the button.getText, as well as any other local variables that you have available to you. Okay, very good. Now that's how we add an action to our button in the easiest way possible. Uh, next episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on, or we're gonna learn about the different types of layouts. So I've mentioned them a couple times now, but for JavaFX programs and applications, we're using the border pane layout up here, uh, but there's different kinds. There's a stack pane, uh, border pane is just one type of layout that we could use. So we're going to go over the different types of layouts, uh, which one is better for which situation, and how to use them all. 
Okay? So thanks a lot for watching. Again, you can check me out at IndieProgrammer.com, and I will see you all next time.